Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Yeah. Remember, support the Hodge Twins. Go to officialhodgetwins.com. If you love this country, if you're a true American patriot, <laughs> then go pick you out a patriotic T-shirt today or hat and use discount code Chinese virus. Get 20% off. If you're liberal, no justice, no peace. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> for some odd reason, I think that may have, might have triggered some liberals. Anyway, hey, uh, we're going to talk about this uh, this young lady, Mia Ponsetto. I like that name, Mia Ponsetto. Mia. Yeah. Mia is in some hot water. Yeah, she man. likes tackling black kids. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is what happened. She was in New York, yeah. right, visiting some family. Doing something, right? And yeah. she missed, she couldn't find her phone. So she start. she goes up to the black kid. <laughs> well, she goes up to everybody that's exiting the building because she says she's doing her part. Yeah. she Because she's trying to find her phone. and But for some reason, when it came to the black kid and his dad coming out, <laughs> she decided to football tackle. Yeah, poor Keon. That's the black kid's name. He's just trying to have a good time with his father <laughs> because he was black. <laughs> She tackled him. Took well, him, tried to take him to the ground, man. Well, that's what people are saying. That's how people, she, mainstream media, are spinning it. Yeah, like yeah. she didn't tackle nobody else. Yeah. But as soon as the black kid came walking out of the hotel, <laughs> oh, he's got to have it. <laughs> you going to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, I've lost my phone before, but I've never started approaching. Hey, you got my phone? You got it, don't you? I don't never physically assault somebody. Somebody yeah. in their right mind yeah. do not behave that way. Yeah, I would call my phone yeah. and see if it starts ringing. Yeah. As soon as I hear it, you got my phone, mother. <laughs> yeah. It's ringing. That's a smart thing to do. Have your person, you was with somebody, yeah. have them call it. You hear somebody ringing, you got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, just because you think somebody has a phone yeah. does not give you the right to physically assault them. Yeah. You can't do that. That's against the law, Mia. You um you committed you committed a crime. Yeah, you took away that kid's civil rights by tackling him. Yeah. Cops can't do it. What gives you the right to do it? Yeah. Nobody can just go up to somebody and tackle somebody Which, thinking they might have some property of yours. You gotta have evidence. You gotta have proof. Yeah. Now a lot of people saying that, uh, this was racial profiling. Well we all profile everybody. I mean, it's just human nature. Like it's just it's, human nature. Like I'll give you an example. Yeah. Like during 9-11 when that happened. Yeah. People just looked at people that looked like that, that flew those planes in those buildings. Yeah. We all looked at them differently. Yeah. I mean, if you got on a plane, if you saw somebody get on a plane and look like them, yeah. naturally you'd be like, wait, hold up. I'm yeah. not trying to go into a building today. Yeah. Or you, you know see I mean? people across the street, if you see a pack of black people with hoodies <laughs> approaching you. I mean. What? Like when you racist son? <laughs> no, I see no, ladies. No, you, no, no, this I see is it. Ladies. Let me let me set it up. Let me set it up. This is what you mean. If you watch the first forty eight, right, and you watch that show, mm -hmm. you will have a different uh, perception of black people because they star on that show. Like if a little old white lady watched that show all day and she was walking home one day yeah. and she seen a pack of black kids yeah. wearing hoodies, looking like the people that star on the first forty eight, yeah, she might end up crossing to the other side of the street because, yeah. She has information that says these people are crazy. <laughs> well, you know, just looking That's, at FBI statistics, a lot of people yeah. behave differently. If they see a certain individual where they dressed or uh, a lot of times because of their skin color, people profile all the time. Yeah. Like if a lady's walking down the street, it's late at night, and you see a pack of black African-Americans with hoodies. You can't see their faces. It's dark. You're going to behave different. I don't even care if you're black. You're going to behave different. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to cross the street. I don't care what skin color you are. Yeah. People profile people all the time. Yeah. They it do. Doesn't, and it doesn't make them a racist per se. Now, if Definitely I see, a lot of times when people do that, they're yeah, racist. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, if I see a black person walking down the street in my neighborhood and I take a baseball bat and attack him. Because he's black? Yeah. That's racially, hey, he's, I'm profiling him. He's a criminal. I'm going to go beat him up. I mean, I mean, it's a thin line, just to say the least, but... I don't know if she's racist. She might be racist. It's just a lot of evidence because from what happened in that video, she never uh, approached anybody else violently 
looking for a phone. And right. she actually tackled this kid. That is, nigga, you got a strong case against you. <laughs> you damn, you you could be racist. You yeah. don't think you racist, but yeah. maybe you need to look up the definition of racist. <laughs> I'm like, I'm it's thinking, when you treat other people differently based on what they look like. Yeah, that's what a racist is. Yeah, and you tackled, you took a, you taking them to the ground. <laughs> I mean, it makes me think, what is on this damn phone? <laughs> yeah, because I know you're a freak. I saw what's on your hat. It's got, She's got "Daddy" written across it. Yeah, Mia, hey, Mia. I know she got some on that phone, man. What you got on that phone, girl? What you got on there? Cause I admit, man, you a pretty racist, a fine racist. Yeah. <laughs> what you, what you got on that phone? You don't want people to see. Yeah, man, you look like that type too, man. Yeah, you young. Got daddy on your hat. <laughs> What's on that phone, girl? <laughs> yeah. Some on that phone, cause you pretty girl. Uh, yeah. I, I I know you a freak. I know you a freak. I, <laughs> I just by looking at your jaws, or uh, your hair. Your lips, the way you carry yourself, and you got daddy. I know you like. Hey man, you profile. <laughs> I'm profiling you right now. Hey, uh, but anyway, you look like a. Uh, she could be a. Um, I ain't gonna say it. That's profiling. Yeah, don't say that. I don't want to profile her. Yeah, but as far as we all profile, it's just it's yeah. racist when you're non-black and you do it. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah, but um. <laughs> She actually goes on CBS News and getting interviewed. I'm like, why? Why would you go on that? Check this out. Profiling whatsoever. I'm a woman. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm like a woman of color. I'm, I'm Italian, Greek, Puerto Rican. You keep saying you're Puerto Rican. Does that mean that you can't be racist because you're saying you're a woman of color? Is that what you mean? Exactly. Man, you crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, uh, Mia. Black people get ra- uh, receive racism from all races. Yeah. And to black people, you're white. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I know. I'm light-skinned. <laughs> they think I'm – I don't even get a pass for being black because I'm light-skinned. But you, yeah. you got good hair. You light-skinned. To black people, you are white. And if you act racist, you are now a white supremacist. It doesn't matter. You're Puerto Rican. Yeah, they did the same thing to George Zimmerman. They, they, when, he first, when, this, yeah, when that incident yeah. first happened, they was referring to him as a white supremacist. And to this day, people think that dude's white. That dude's Latino. Yeah. Just like you. Both of y'all are white supremacists. <laughs> Why are you on CBS News and interviewing? What is you? What do you have to gain? You're getting interviewed by Gail King, of all people. Yeah, you could be totally innocent, and she's going to make you look bad. <laughs> I mean, your attorney, she sucks. Yeah. I'll be trying to settle this shit. <laughs> yeah, your attorney's sitting right beside you. If I was your attorney, yeah. I'd say, we ain't doing no interviews. <laughs> I'm trying to settle this shit out of court. You know how many views this video got, girl? Over a million views. You a superstar for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, you still, to this day, you're not willing to accept responsibility. That was horrible what you did. Yeah. It was horrible. You tackled, tackled a kid. I don't care what the skin color. You tackled somebody because you thought that they had your phone. Man, now if you had evidence that he had your phone yeah, and you tried to take him down and they found your phone, yeah. It's all good. Yeah, if you had to use the harsh twins method, just have someone call it. As soon as you hear a phone ring, you talk to <laughs> Hey, I go to court with you. You yeah. got proof. But you you can't do that. You're actually a criminal. Yeah. That's why the cops arrested you. <laughs> you going to jail. Hey, um You already in jail. Your attorney, man, let me just be real with you. If I was your attorney, I'm not even an attorney. I'm not a licensed. I haven't taken out one law course. Her letting you go on CBS to talk to Gail King, she's got to be the absolute worst attorney on this planet. <laughs> I'm not an attorney, and I know that. I'll be trying to sell this shit. Yeah, if I was I'd t- invite the Keon family in my house, I'd, I'd feed them dinner, <laughs> give them some gift cards. I'd be trying to, I'd be trying hey. to make this shit go away. Yeah. No, you're going on CBS to talk to Gail King? Both of y'all are batshit crazy. Yeah, your attorney. Like, I don't know what you told you. Maybe you went on that... Well, Fox, your attorneys uh, yeah. say so, and she just went to be there to support you. Either <laughs> way, she's dumb. Yeah. I wouldn't have let you went on there. If I was your attorney you went on there and I told you not to go, I wouldn't have went with you on there. Yeah. Because I would have told you, look, you guilty. You're a criminal, and you're a racist. <laughs> if you go on there, they're going to make you look bad. Yeah. You're actually incriminating yourself in the damn case. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, look, you own CBS with a damn hat that says daddy. <laughs> Maybe she's bossy, man. She don't take nothing. She 
She she's figured out life. She mm-hmm. knows what she wants. That's yeah, especially from black kids. Anyway, they, they eventually find a phone. Yeah. Some other black kid had it. <laughs> I'm just joking. That was a joke. They found it in a hotel. I don't but think it was reported. Maybe an Uber driver returned. I'm not too sure about that. Yeah. I can't corroborate that. The but phone was found in a hotel. And I still want to know, Mia, what's on that phone? Hey, girl. Puerto Rican girl, huh? Yeah. What's on that damn phone? What's on that phone? And, 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 let me. Yeah. Hey. You saying you can't be racist because you're Puerto Rican? You that, crazy as hell. The most racist people on this planet is people of color. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to seen when I got with my wife, she's Latino. You ought to seen all the dirty looks I got from other Latino people because I was black. Yeah. I mean, people of color can be the most racist people. I mean, black people are racist. They black. hate gay people. Hey, Black people are the, you homophobic. Can, you cannot generalize a whole group of people. I'm like just that. saying. I'm being racist right now. <laughs> you just. But yeah. I I realize that. No, as a whole, what I'm saying, is, what you're saying is as a yeah. whole, when it comes to black people, black people are very racist. I mean, they're very racist to us because yeah. of what we stand for politically. But um, they're homophobic, too, because they always call me gay. <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of comments. Because I got pretty green eyes. They can't handle that shit. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, from I mean, not as a whole, there's yeah. a there's ho- homophobia. If you don't believe me, you can just ask a black gay person. Yeah, they'll tell you. But I'm, homophobia is in all races. Yeah, right. Especially not, in the black community. <laughs> <laughs> That's an opinion, and yeah. that doesn't make him racist for saying it. And I'm allowed to have my own damn opinions. I yeah. grew up around black folks. Yeah. I had black friends. I, I'm black. I'm black. I, I'm an expert when it comes to black people. <laughs> They hate they hate other blacks for just having a, a different opinion about anything, especially when yeah. it comes to politics. Yeah. I've been called the most racist names by other blacks. Yeah. For you to say black people can't be racist is crazy, or anybody, of, of any color. person of color can't be yeah. racist. Yeah. I mean, like, look what was going on in China, man, during the uh, whole um, uh, global pandemic, man. They was being very racist to black folk. They yeah. wouldn't let them leave their apartments, their homes. Yeah, to Africans that was living there. Yeah. Because um, I guess Africans have a severe strain of COVID. <laughs> I guess. They got, they're got carrying the worst case of COVID. <laughs> it's just, where that damn Chinese virus getting the African, yeah. it mutates into the yeah. whatever. The, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just joking. I don't know. But they were being racist as hell to African American. I was going to say African Americans. <laughs> Africans. What are they? African Chinas. <laughs> if you're over in China, you can't be African American over there. You African. You African China. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so just these people that continue to say that, that people of color cannot be racist, <clears throat> man, you need to wake up. All people can be racist. Yeah. Regardless of your skin color. Yeah. You're racist. <laughs> Everybody can be racist. Yeah. That's a damn good show. Yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah. Title of this email. Girlfriend older than I am, but has doubts about me. Got you a MILF, huh? Yeah. Got him an older woman. Got a little couple gray hairs coming in. Yeah. Instead of you teaching her a few things, she teaching you a few things. Yeah, you know why? Because somebody else taught her. Yeah. So she's a MILF. Somebody got that before you did. Somebody then took her for a test drive. Yeah. Showed her how to drive. <laughs> 28, and she's 41? Yeah. So let's do the math on it. It's 13 years. Fucking. It's 13 years, Kevin. Yep, that's 13, man. I'm starting to read between them lines. She has doubts about him. That was the title of the email, right? See how smart I am? I put that shit together. Yeah, yeah, Kevin West. I'm smart as shit, man. It's in the title. My IQ is through the roof. Man, I up. put shit together. I'm smart. That dude's probably immature, man. 
He needs to work on some maturity because she has doubts about him. He ain't doing something right. I just read. I'm the- pretty sure it, the sex is fine, but I wonder if he's got a career going. I'm just speculating. Why don't you go ahead and just finish the email? Yeah. Can I read the but email? But I can read between them lines. I know what's going on. Man, you speculating. You ain't uh, reading between shit. I know what's going on, You man. speculating. Speculating? You speculating right now. I know what's going on. Let me read the damn email. 